Welcome to the Buston Vet Hospital. It's such a joy and privilege to know that you've entrusted your pets to our care. Did you know that because of your adorable pets and you guys, that working here at Buston Vet isn't really like work? It's, it's more like a, a privilege and a joy to be here, um, to serve you. What better job could anyone have than for caring for these wonderful creatures, these wonderful furry friends that we have that bring us so much unconditional love and joy? So how do you know how well we do as a practice? Well, you could look at the physical building and the ASAV accreditation that we have the only hospital in regional WA that has that accreditation, which means we've been measured to the highest standard of, of vet practice. But we'd hope that much more you would look at how we do as far as the dedication and devotion that we have for your pets, how your animals like to come to see us, how you can interact and ask us questions and feel that we're part of the process, we're part of your family. That's how we think you'd know that we're doing a great job. We actually want to be walking the path of life with you, with you and your pets. Pet parents are really special, you've got such a bond, but there's times when there's ups and downs where you can celebrate or where you need a bit of a hand and that's where we want to be with you. Now, life as a vet does have its ups and its downs. There's some absolute wonderful moments of joy in our, in our practice, in our lives, in our jobs. But you know, also there is times when things are really hard, things are tough, things are emotionally draining, things are really sad. And I've got a little bit of a story about that that I wanted to share with you, a story that uh, that involves me and a patient that I had, um, a, a lovely, handsome, staffy dog, and his, his pet owner, who's a builder. Well, the great thing was that when I was first a vet, I worked in Busselton. Had graduated not long ago, and a dog came in, a staffy came in for a caesarean. And I got to do this caesarean in the middle of the night and I delivered this pup, this first ever pup that I've delivered by Caesarean. He comes out and he's wriggling and squirming and starting to cry and all the proper things. And it's just such a wonderful feeling, bringing life into the world. And that was just such a special time with the, that pup and the, and the bitch and, and the bitch's owner. Roll on 10 years and I've been away overseas and other jobs, but I've come back to Bustleton now. And one day, who walks through this door but the builder bloke and this pup. But this pup wasn't a pup anymore. He was an old man and he was suffering from cancer. So we did do quite significant surgery. Um, we tried other treatments. But a time came when we couldn't really control his pain anymore. And I looked at the builder and he looked at me and we knew that it was, it was time for this dog. We took, we took him down to the beach, to his favourite beach, and there at twilight, with the builder bloke, tough builder bloke, sitting with his dog on the sand, watching the twilight sea, we were able to just gently and calmly allow this dog to leave this life. That was hard. I'd seen this dog as a puppy. I, I, I'd birthed him into the world and now I was farewelling him. But what a privilege it was to me, what an honour to be there for that dog, beginning and end. And knowing that we, the, his owner, his builder bloke and I were doing the right thing. Yeah, there was great and happy times with him and this was a really sad time, but it's a time to remember and a time to reflect on and that's why we have our pets. We have our pets because 
they bring us that love, they bring us that emotion, they bring us that joy, and sometimes sorrow. And that's what, that's the sort of vets that we want to be for you, who can stand with you and celebrate the great times and sit with you and commiserate with the bad times, ensuring that you enjoy the company of your furry friends for longer, that is our goal. And what we do is we promise to practice exceptional vet care with compassion and, and love and joy to go along with that. So thank you for coming into Buston Vet Hospital. Thank you for seeing us. And we really hope that we can see you again soon.